Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is leadership. According to 1 Timothy 3, there appear to be two kinds of leaders. The first kind of leader is sometimes called a bishop, sometimes an overseer, sometimes an elder. Second kind of leader is called a deacon. The character of the leader is what qualifies a leader for leadership. To be sure, there needs to be calling and gifting. No one calls themselves to leadership. Leaders are called out publicly by somebody already in leadership. Current leaders have a responsibility to carefully examine the character of people before calling them into leadership. The first thing is not a new believer. Now, this isn't a character quality, but the reason given for this is because of the overwhelming attack of the enemy in trying to get people to fall in the area of pride, the devil's primary sin. It takes time and experience to develop properly placed confidence. The character quality of living above reproach or being temperate is also something that takes time and exposure to difficult situations to develop. Under pressure, we have a tendency to respond without thinking, and therefore we have a tendency to respond out of our true nature. The character quality of being clear-minded, of seeing things as they are, of thinking well, is necessary in any leader. The character quality of being self-controlled, of discipline, of thinking before speaking, of not saying everything that comes into your mind is necessary in any leader. The quality, the character quality of being respectable talks about how others respond to the leader. Respectability is necessary in any leader. They must live lives that people respect. The character quality of being hospitable, welcome, welcoming, especially to new people, is essential in any leader. The character quality of being hospitable, of being gentle and peaceable, of being a peacemaker, of bringing a sense that everything is going to work out the way it is supposed to, is essential in a leader. A leader must be free from the love of money, free from greed. This is a serious problem in our nation today, and it causes all kinds of problems. The Bible itself says that the love of money, that greed, is the root of all kinds of evils. A leader needs to be free from the control of alcohol. Alcohol is really a difficult subject because alcohol alters our mental status. Uh, in Proverbs, King Lemuel says, is told by his mom that leaders are not supposed to drink. A leader needs to be free from violence. Uh, in one version it says pugnaciousness, and that's that. Another version says a brawler, and, and that's that willingness to settle uh, issues by stepping out beside the barn. <laughs> a leader needs to be able to teach. Wow. We all want leaders who hear from God accurately, who imitate God, who live for God openly, who re represent Jesus in a way that is simple to follow. People who love God by loving God's people and people who have a track record of living the life. The word for today is leadership. Be a leader today. God bless you. Check in tomorrow.